What do you think, ladies? Do you want a friend? How about five friends? Potentially even more friends. Because guess what? In a couple days, we're bringing home five pregnant St. Croix ewes and a white dorper ram. So the plan is, for now, until then, so Saturday afternoon they're coming. It's currently Thursday afternoon. So until then, i got to get things ready. So I've topped up their supplements until then. This is just bonus stuff for these two sheep, to be honest. But since they're pregnant, I want to make sure, well, not these ones, but the St. Croix that are coming are pregnant. I want to make sure that things are completely ready for them. So I've mixed it up a little bit. I still have the salt block, but I got loose minerals as well. Um, I'm not actually entirely sure how much I'm supposed to feed them, so I just dump some in and we're going to see how it goes with the Jacobs. But I just mixed it in with their um, alfalfa and they'll figure things out. When I go inside, I'll figure out the exact amounts I should be giving them, but I don't think it's going to hurt them, so we'll see. But my understanding is they kind of just eat as much as they need and then don't eat anymore. So I fed them today. I need to top up their water. But what I still need to do in here is I need to clear the way from our second driveway over there all the way up to this gate and then dig it out so that it can open because that's where the ewes are coming in. They're going to hang out in here and hopefully get along with the Jacobs. If not, I'll put the Jacobs in with the ram because it's out of breeding season for them. Unlikely to be a problem, but where the corral is, at least we can keep a close eye on it and hopefully it won't be a problem. Eventually, I am hoping to build a little shelter kind of where that sheep is there, where their hay is. Um, it's going to be pretty big, but I plan to use it as like a little lambing shed. So it'll be open somewhat, but mostly out of the elements, so they won't have to worry about wind and rain as much when there's little lambs dropping. So the lambs are due around mid-April. A little, a little after, so like April 21st, I think the due date was. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited to have lambs here again. Well, at all. <laughs> all right, so I got this gate shoveled out so we can open it. We've got somebody coming to clear the second driveway, hopefully today or tomorrow morning. They have to do a little more shoveling on the outside, but the gate opens, confirmed. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna give these two sheep Two more buckets of water today, and then I'm as ready as I can be for these sheep. I'll show you the ram setup in a moment. So this will look familiar to some of you. This is the mobile corral, and I got it as set up as it's going to be for the ram that's coming tomorrow. So I set him up with a bucket. He can drink out of a bucket because he doesn't have horns and he won't get his head stuck. That's why I didn't use one for the Jacob use. But that's not a problem for now. Um, this is a nice heated bucket. It's worked like a charm. It got to minus 20 last night and stayed in liquid form, so that's good. I emptied out, you can see Appa chewing on the old hay that was in there, but I emptied it out. And I'll put fresh hay in the basket and I'll put, oh, look at that, that's still there. I'll put another bucket. There's another salt thing there, but um, I'll put another bucket with loose minerals and alfalfa in it tomorrow. I just didn't want to put it out yet because I don't want it to get snowed on until he's here. So yeah, um, finished everything I can do for now. The only thing left is to have some guy come and plow that second driveway sometime between now and whenever the sheep get here tomorrow afternoon. And I'll give you an update then. I've had to bring like eight or something of these out in the last day and a half. But if I keep this up, I'm not going to need a gym membership. What are you doing? You smelling your friend? You're a little gummer on the top, hey? Look at you go. You're going to have some friends tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon you get some new friends. How exciting is that?
all set. All right, so good news. The sheep are here. Bad news is that there was so much going on that I didn't take any videos yet, and now it's too dark to do it today, so I'm going to have to film videos of the sheep tomorrow. But for now, I can show you what I do have. And he threw in a ton of extras, so there's, where is it? There's a salt block. Oh, there it is. He threw in a sheep salt block there. There's two bags of barley. There's this diatomaceous earth, which is actually super cool. I'll do like a whole video on that at some point, but it's, in short, it helps with a ton of stuff, including some parasite control and digestive issues and whatnot. There's a lot of good stuff about that. Um, that is minerals, which I have like two big bags of over there. And these ones, I don't entirely remember. I think it's vitamin E. I'm going to have to ask him because I don't remember. But he also threw in four bales of straw. So that'll make awesome bedding for when these sheep lamb. Um, two large round bales. I only have one of them so far, but he's going to drop the other one off either tomorrow or sometime in the next week or so. So I'll have to go out and cover that at some point too. Um, I got, oh, he threw in a pitchfork and some panels and, um, oh gosh, I don't even remember. There was so much stuff. Uh, a bunch of like plastic shepherd's crooks. So I'm going to give a few of those to my daughter because that'll be so cute. And, uh, yeah, so this is awesome. We've got a lot of stuff. He gave me like a whole sheet of like a, a booklet basically of stuff about how to care for them. So I got to go through that pretty thoroughly, but, um, we're going to try and figure this out now. <laughs> Wish me luck. So I just kind of threw a bit of everything in here. So there's barley, diatomaceous earth, vitamin E, um, alfalfa pellets, and the premix minerals that I already had. And we'll see how it goes. They're probably going to get scours for the next couple of days just because, like, stress will do that and change a diet and everything. But, well, I figured this out. That's to be expected. But if it lasts for more than a few days, then I'm probably doing something wrong. We'll see. Wish me luck. So a little update. I did some research on this diatomaceous earth, and there's a lot of claims about it that aren't really supported by a ton of research. Um, it looks like the research that was done to determine if it's good for getting rid of parasites was um, pretty thorough at disproving that, so it doesn't really do much for that. I mean, it didn't sound like there was any harm in feeding it, aside from the cost, but uh, in terms of that, at least, it didn't seem to give a whole lot of benefits. Um, there were other things that I read that I haven't seen anything on yet, so I can't say for certain whether it's true or not, but one of the things that did make a little bit more sense to me was that if you feed it to them, it spreads out more nutrients for your soil, which is always a good thing if you're raising livestock or growing anything or just trying to be good for the environment. So I'm going to try and look into that a bit more and I'll get back to you on that. Oh, Appa, you're such a good boy. Look at these two crazies. Look at them. Sitting around freaking out the sheep. They're still good dogs, but they're crazy. Oh yeah, little update. Um, so he had parvo. Uh, he hasn't really left our property, so he must have got it from coyote or something out this way, which happens. The thing that saved his life, thankfully, was that he was vaccinated, but he was still pretty sick for a while there. It was down to like half the weight he should have been, but he's recovered really nicely and he's doing awesome, so he should be good now. Good job, Appa. Glad you're doing good. Anyway, moral of that story, get your dogs vaccinated because parvo is not something you want, especially for puppies because it can and likely will kill them. We were pretty lucky. So this is my ram. There's one thing I really want to show you and I'm hoping he'll do it again. And that's his sound that he makes because it sounds really stupid to me. Hey, big boy. So he is a purebred white dorper who are well known for their size. There, that's the sound he makes. It sounds kind of like a frog to me, anyway. But, uh, yeah, he loud. And he's been doing that all day. I tried to go into his pen earlier today to feed him, and he got real head buddy real fast. So, uh, I don't think that's going to happen for the first little while, anyway. Hopefully he'll chill out a bit. 
Um, I'm just gonna have to feed him and stuff over the fence until he chills out. Hopefully I can go in with him. But one thing to know about rams that is that no matter how friendly they seem, they are called rams for a reason. Um, he seems friendly, he seems like he wants pets, but here, I'll show you. Stick my fingers in and he gets real head buddy. Yeah, I'm a little nervous now. Yeah, see? There he goes. But this is like a 250 pound animal, so if he rams me, I'm gonna feel it. Um, people break bones from that. So I'm not gonna go in with him unless I have to, and when I have to, I am not gonna turn my back to him because I don't want to get hurt and I don't want to have broken bones. This is my boy. Um, still trying to come up with names. His name was Teddy, but I wanna change it. Um, and I'm thinking I'll either go with a uh, berserk theme because I'm a big nerd like that, or I kind of like the name Peanut too. So let me know in the comments what you want to go with. So he'd be Guts if I went with the first option, or Peanut, and I'd have to come up with other names for the U's, which I'll show you in a moment. So these are my new U's and my old U's. I've got five of them. Four of them are for sure pregnant. One of them might be a little later. We'll see. I can't tell them apart yet, so they don't have names. You must stop being a jerk. Stay out of there. Stay out. I'll keep that closed. Anyway, as you can see, they are super, well, a little focused on the dogs, but they're much friendlier. Hi, friends. Hello. Hello. I'm quite friendly. These are St. Croix, purebred St. Croix, and uh, the ram that you saw earlier is the dad of the pregnancies the babies but uh, these are another hair breed they're a true hair breed so they will lose all of this outer coat in the spring they are naturally pulled well known for being super friendly and really disease and parasite resistant healthy healthy animals they've got a good build so they can have lots of babies and mother without too many problems. I'm still gonna build them a little shed or something to give birth in. We bought a bunch of plywood to do that yesterday. Just haven't done it yet. Obviously haven't had time. I gotta get more two by fours to do that. But yeah, really friendly animals. Really like them. Sam really likes them. Can't wait for Izzers to meet them. Oh, do you have blue eyes? One of you has blue eyes, that's cool. I don't know which one you are, but let's find out. Come here, friend. Hey, friend. Yeah, they're nice animals. Nice animals. Which number are you? Oh, you're the one that might not be pregnant. Okay. We'll have to name you now that I can tell you apart. As long as the other ones don't have blue eyes. <laughs> Let's see. No, you've got like heterochromia. Cool. Okay, I haven't really looked at them that much yet. So that's that's pretty neat. But I'll have to feed them some more. I'll be back out here. I've got a big bale of hay over there and there's another one coming tomorrow as well. I'll have to cover with the uh, tarp and then have somebody put them upright so that I can feed them to him. Hi friend, you want a pet? No? Okay. Yeah, they're settling in really well. Really, really awesome sheep. I'm pretty excited for this. But yeah, uh, to keep with the berserk theme, I'm thinking Casca, Farnese, Shirky, Luca, and Charlotte. I don't know which one would be which, <laughs> but that's okay. And uh, if we go with the peanut name, I don't know what I would name them. If you have ideas, put them down in the comments. But anyway, these are my new sheep. Thanks for watching, and I'll keep you updated on them. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, really helps me out. And we'll see you next time.